students today we are going to see the second part of information transfer that is verbal to non verbal in the first part we saw how to uh, means transfer the given information from non verbal to verbal means a diagram will be given how to write paragraph on it in this video we will see while solving this question that is verbal to non verbal means a paragraph is given and you have you are expected to draw a suitable uh, diagram visual representation of the given information okay means a paragraph will be given you have to draw a suitable diagram so while solving this question what are the things you should do first of all read the passage carefully two to three times okay read the passage twice first read the passage twice second thing after you have understood what is the passage about give a suitable title give a suitable title give a suitable title after giving the suitable title when when you are reading the information read it properly see what are the key th key words key important aspects that are being mentioned and then after giving a suitable title decide which for which diagram you will draw which figure you will draw to describe transfer the given information from verbal to non verbal now usually it is mentioned in the question which diagram you are expected to draw which are the diagrams which are usually asked in this question they are tree diagram then you have they can ask you to draw a pie chart then they can even ask you to in the tabular form that is table they can even ask you to draw a flow chart they can even ask you a map diagram bar graph line graph etc okay these are the diagrams which usually are asked in the exam means they usually ask uh, means it is mentioned in the question read the passage and draw a tree diagram read the passage information given and draw an appropriate pie chart according to it whenever you are drawing you should be very clear what exactly it means what is a tree diagram a tree diagram where the information is divided into branches and sub branches this is known as tree diagram whenever you are drawing you should mention the aspects properly you should use arrows to describe the relation the different aspects properly now draw it neatly always remember whenever you are transferring the information you can't write sentences here you are expected to write it in as short as possible words and phrases not more than that so in short you have to mention the keywords hmm? so this is tree diagram pie chart is usually given when the information is uh, given in percentage okay the slice describes the slice actually represents for example the given diagram the pie uh, means it is given in 10% usually 10% students fail in ssc in uh, social science 35% fail in maths like this so whatever information is given in percentage form they will ask you to draw a pie chart table when information is divided into broad categories they ask you to draw a table okay flow chart where information where you have to draw box rectangular boxes and how the if a sequence is given steps are given process is given at that time usually they ask you to draw a flow chart then what is a web diagram web diagram you can draw anyhow okay even you can draw a box here and you can divide, divide like for example users of mobile phone i can like write here draw a web diagram and i will write the answer here in short and the title here okay so these are the 
diagrams they usually ask you to draw. Sometimes they can even ask you to draw a bar, a bar graph or a line graph. When the information given is about the trends over the years, the increase in the prices over the years. Okay. So whatever representation, visual representation you are drawing, you should remember some important things you should keep in mind. First of all, you should draw it systematically. Use a ruler or a scale when drawing. Okay. Mention the points properly. You don't write length. It, uh, you should write only keywords. You should use arrows and other things to describe the information properly. Here if you are mentioning percentage, see if that in, in, after mentioning percentage, you also write what it represents. Only mentioning the percentage is not enough. You should also mention what it represents. If it is tabular form table, they can ask you to write, draw a table and describe the given information in a table of do's and don'ts. When you are doing so, you should mention, you should make a table and do's and don'ts you can divide. Hmm? There you are asked to use imperative sentences. Flowchart, here also information has to be given stepwise. Here also you are not expected to write in detail. Only the keywords you can use or phrases. Two, three words you can use. Okay. Now, after you have drawn the suitable diagram, you should write at least two to three sentences about it. You should add, you should uh, mention the diagram, mention the name, mention what the diagram, what the figure or image represents. What does the image mention what the figure or image represents. For example, if this is your page, you should solve this question in three steps. First step, title. First step will be title. Second step, will be the diagram like this if I am drawing three diagram. This will be the second stage, second step and third step will be information about the diagram. I hope you have understood how you are, have to solve this question. Always solve this question on a fresh page. Always solve it on a fresh page. Use scale, ruler and draw it systematically. Your handwriting should be legible and use the complete page. Don't draw such a small diagram. Use the complete page and when you are using it should be like this. First step should be title, underline it, then draw the diagram and then write what is the diagram and what it represents. You can write this is the table. It uh, mentions the do's and don'ts to be followed while visiting a public property. Okay. This is a pie chart representing the information about the students, uh, about the subjects in which students fail in their SSE exam, the percentage of students who fail in SSE exams in different subjects. This is a web diagram which presents the different uses of mobile. So this is how you should solve this question. So in this video, we discussed, what did we discuss? We discussed how to solve the question related to transferring the information from verbal to non-verbal. That is from a passage will be given, you have to draw a diagram. While drawing the diagram, read the passage, understand what information has been presented, understand the key important aspects discussed, give a suitable a title accordingly, Draw the diagram which has been asked. If it has not been asked, you can understand. If the information is given in points and subpoints, you can draw the tree diagram. If it is in percentage form, you can draw pie chart. If it, it is described in broad categories, you can draw tree diagram. If a process is described, you can draw the web uh, flow chart. If it is a general information, you can even use a web diagram. Okay? And this is how you have to and at last you mention what is the diagram and what it represents. 
I hope you might have understood what we have discussed today and you will solve this question and surely score good marks in it. Do subscribe to the video and enrich your English. Thank you.